The party face first came to know about this matter on the Saturday 8th of December. That night, Mr. Michael Palmer came to see me to inform me about this matter and said that he would resign his positions. I agreed with him that he should do so. We informed the Prime Minister, who agreed that that was the proper thing to do. The Prime Minister met Mr. Palmer on Sunday morning and confirmed the decision. And the Prime Minister directed that this matter will be dealt with decisively and in an open way. We took the last two days to make the arrangements to ensure that residents of Pongol East continue to be taken care of and that the transition is carried out according to the proper legal and administrative procedures. And once this was done, we're making the announcement today. Mr. Palmer has resigned as a PAP member and as MP for Pongol East. I've worked closely with Michael for more than six years and know him as a hard-working and good MP, always caring for his residents, a good team player. I'm saddened and disappointed that this has happened. When he saw me on Saturday, he was very sorry for what he had done. I told him to look after his family and to do what he could to make up for the hurt that he had caused them. I told him that I would make arrangements so that the residents in Pongo East continue to be looked after. On behalf of the party and of myself, I would like to say to the residents of Pongo East, I'm very sorry that we have let the residents of Pongo East down. I assure you that we will put things right and that we will continue to look after you. I have asked Minister of State and Mayor, Mr. Teo Salak, to oversee Pongo East constituency. Mr. Zainal Sapari will be appointed as the new chairman of the Pasiris Pongo Town Council. We have always worked very closely together in Pasiris Pongo and continue to do so even when Pongo East became a single member constituency. I and my colleagues in Pasiris Pongo will continue to look after Pongo East and its residents, and I will continue to take a personal interest in the welfare of the residents of Pongo East. With Mr. Palmer's resignation as an MP, he also ceases to be Speaker. Deputy Speaker, Mr. Charles Strong, who is the acting Speaker, will continue in this role. The Prime Minister will nominate a new Speaker for Parliament's consideration when Parliament next meets. I will now ask uh, staff to distribute a copy of the statements and the exchange of letters, and then we will take questions. Please do so. Okay, we'll be happy to take questions now, please. Uh, whether there will be a by-election, and if so, when, is a matter for the PM to decide. No, I, I, as I've said in my statement, uh, I felt that I needed to resign in order to avoid further embarrassment, and I think what I've the pertinent points have been put in my statement, so I, I don't want to add anything further. Mr. Palmer, perhaps you can talk about what made you come forward. Um, I, I think that, uh, as I've said again in my statement, I've, I've, I've had to take full responsibility for this grave mistake, and um, I think that it's right that I come forward. So. I think I will leave it at that, as, as stated in my statement. Mr. Palmer, will you be going back to um, I, at, at this stage, I, I think um, it, there's a lot more for me to concentrate on in terms, as I said, it, it's a time of privacy for my family. 
and I, I would hope that we can respect that. From you. Questions, please. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Can you speak up? Uh, what What sort of preparations or what is being done on the PA side? Yes. Um, what the staff member did was wrong. The staff member has tendered her resignation, and this is being accepted by PA. PA accept, expects its staff members to maintain the highest standards of personal behaviour and conduct, and in this case, the staff member had fallen short. Other questions? Please go ahead, Lydia. Well, when Mr. Palmer came to see me, he felt that he should resign his positions, and I agreed with him. Uh, we expect MPs and advisors to uphold good moral standards. And in addition, MPs have a duty to the public, which they can only perform if they do not mix up their personal and official relationships. And it's so in any organisation or profession. And more so for MPs who deal directly with a broad group of residents and depend on the public trust to be able to do their duties. So I agreed with Mr. Palmer, and the Prime Minister decided, agreed, and decided that we should act decisively and openly in this matter. Okay. Yes. What extent do you think this episode Well, we try and we do our best to choose people carefully, and no selection system will be foolproof. And sometimes problems will emerge even many years after an appointment or a selection. But I think the important thing to do is when such an event, such an episode does occur and arise, we have to act properly. And that's the most important thing, to respond in the right manner, openly and decisively. Now, Mr. Palmer has uh, taken responsibility for a serious mistake. The PM has directed that we should deal with this openly and uh, uh, so we have done so and also the PA staff member has also resigned. Please go ahead. I think there's no need uh, to go into these details. Uh, I think the most important thing is Mr. Palmer has acknowledged it. He has resigned to take full responsibility for uh, these mistakes. Uh, that's the right thing to do. He's, and uh, a staff member has also resigned. And we should, um, we should then move forward and uh, see what is the best that we can do for the residents of Pongo East. Any other questions? As I said, I think there's no need to get into these uh, details. But if there are any other questions which you have for me, I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, that's provided for in the law, but we've not had that for many years. Yes, please go ahead. As I said, I think these are details which we don't really need to go into. Uh, I think the important thing is that Mr. Palmer has acknowledged his mistake. He has resigned to take full responsibility. And I think that's the proper thing to do. Okay. Perhaps we can call the press conference to a close. As I said, I've known Mr. Palmer is a diligent and good MP. He's always concerned for the welfare of his residents. However, as a Prime Minister, 
has stated in his reply to Mr. Palmer's resignation letter, it's necessary that all PAP MPs and advisors to grassroots organizations uphold the highest standards of personal conduct, especially in dealings with constituents, grassroots activists and staff, and that the party be seen to hold its MPs and advisors to these standards. Those involved are suffering much hurt from this episode. They need time and space for the healing to take place. I hope Singaporeans will give them that time and space and that in time they will be able to rebuild their lives. Well, thank you very much.